to our channel, or if you're new, I'm Becca. I'm so together we are Becca, Becca and so and today we're here to film our first Q and A. How exciting! So we asked expand. you on Instagram. We put it on screen here at Becca and so We asked you on our Instagram. Um, if you've got any questions for us, you know what you'd like to know that we haven't already spoken about, or any more detail about something we've spoken about. And these were our most asked ones. Yeah, thanks to everyone who sent in questions. <laughs> we really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so first. Um, we got asked something about like podcasts. It was like, uh, what are your great podcasts, great books, ideas, um, traveling to and from work, books and podcasts to listen to, that kind of Oh, a vibe. lot about books and so, podcasts. So yeah, any like good things to listen to. So, so do you listen to podcasts? Well, I actually have been. So Sophie's always been a podcast girl. I am a podcast girl. And I am absolutely not. Like, you're getting into it now, 100% music all the way. But now, yeah, get started to get into it a bit more. So... To be honest with you though, I like to just switch off on my way. Mm -hmm. So I was doing it on my way to and from college, um, like accounting college. And I just wanted something like really easy listening to, didn't have to think about it at all. So I was listening to The Girls' Bathroom. I'll put like the names of everything on screen Our as well. Our favourites, Sophia yeah. and Chintz, yeah, they so, host that, don't they? Yeah, they're both from Nottingham as well. Um, and yeah, absolutely okay. love their podcast. It's like girl talk, boy talk, like nothing educational, just very easy listening. You yeah. know, you get to hear about lots of other people's problems and like, what their suggested solutions are so yeah love that but if you want more educational ones sophie's your girl <laughs> i was gonna say some switch off ones well. <laughs> okay we're gonna um, switch off first well then. obviously like spotify raps just come out and it shows yes. you what podcasts you've listened to mm -hmm. so my top one was the receipts podcast yeah, i knew you were gonna so say many that people love. <laughs> yeah they're fantastic just three girls and they talk about like everyone's problems kind of similar to the girls yeah, bathroom similar vibe, yeah but i think the receipts podcast is gone crazy just like it's done very well it's oh hilarious. gosh they were like billboards and stuff I know. Like it's, so yeah. i definitely recommend that yeah. um their podcast comes out every wednesday and i just stick my headphones in and feel like i'm talking to my big sisters <laughs> kind of that vibe yeah. um what else do i listen to growing with the flow by naina florence she's a uni student in edinburgh she's fantastic very wholesome very yeah. calming um anything goes by emma chamberlain that's fantastic mm -hmm. and then more educational ones the Financial Times actually have a podcast. Yeah. So sometimes I do listen to that. They to be do. Fair. It's like um, basically like getting you up to date on all the current news and stuff. Yeah. So that's a really good one to listen to. If you can't be bothered to like read it or if you just want something to listen to on the bus or on the train or whatever mm. to work, I think that's a really good one. I think there's podcasts for everything. Like yeah. My dad can listen to sports podcasts. There's really podcasts for everyone. Yeah. Um, I think with law, there's something called More About Law and mm. I know there's like Employment Law Matters. So... If you need to like learn more about your degree or whatever, you're working, I think just have a quick search on like Spotify in. or Apple yeah. or like any whatever your preferred streaming services. Um, also, oh, what's Jamie Lang's one called? I listen to that sometimes. Um, oh, what is it called? Private parts. Private parts. I That's do listen so to that. Good. That is funny. I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love that. I actually saw him the other day in I think it was in Shoreditch. Yeah. Him and his girlfriend were walking down. I was like, oh. You She's like made in Chelsea. Yeah, house. exactly. Amazing. So yeah, love those. And then books. Oh. We were talking about this yesterday actually, because Sophie's for Christmas, Sophie's thinking of getting some more books. So. Yeah, I want the classic traditional yeah. old books because um I don't know, like my degree put me off reading probably. Yes. So yeah. I want to get back into reading and I thought why not start with the classics? So yeah. I've asked for things like Wuthering Heights and To Kill a Mockingbird. I love those. But our favorite, well, one of our favorite oh, films now, yeah. Little, is Woman. Little Woman. So it's just come on to Netflix, and I think it's um, I think we watched it on Sky, so it's definitely right. on there as well. But yes, yeah, so good. So I've asked for that book as well. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to get back into reading, I'd say order some of the and traditional I want, ones. Is it 1984. We decided here's <laughs> the George Orwell one. <laughs> Last we night, 1964, like 64, 74, 74. 80, like we just couldn't figure out 84. It's definitely <laughs> it's 1984. 84. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to read that. That would be fantastic. It's like Animal Farm, as much as it, we did it in school and it was like, I'm like, oh, but like I really enjoyed the actual book when I read it before we did it in English. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely some more George Orwell. I'm trying to think what else, like what other books well, There's lots of like educational books. I really like, yeah. like the, they're quite easy reading, like Freakonomics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like just very, and there's a book called Super Freakonomics too. Um, I'll put a list of some of the books that both of us like in the description and on screen as well. We've but. got a book that we need to read. What? We've both got the same one. I've read, read it. it. Have you? Yeah, I read it on holiday. Oh yeah, was it good? <laughs> it was great. I read it. recommend. I need to. I need to. <laughs> so Sophie bought us them. Yeah. Like literally, like as they came out, and we had them like the day they came out. Yeah, I haven't got round to reading it. What is it? Working hard, yeah, hardly hard working, working by yeah. Grace Beverly, also yes. known as Grace Fit. Yeah. So I read it on holiday. 
Yeah. Like, he didn't bring it on holiday. He brought, like, brought the other something ones. else. Yeah. yeah. I think Bridgerton or something earlier. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, in terms of more modern books, I'm trying to think of books I've read recently. Like, Life of Pi and A yeah. Thousand Splendid Sons. Yeah. They're all fantastic. You had a, a really pretty book. I think you lent it to our friend Charlotte. And it was, like, pink on the front cover and like really yellow maybe um, women, something women women yeah. don't owe you pretty yeah. fantastic book <laughs> if you read it you'll feel so powerful and it looks gorgeous as well <laughs> so. I actually text my feelings to get can I have it back <laughs> <laughs> I need it for the aesthetics yeah. <laughs> okay next question so our next question is tips for your 20s mm-hmm. we are both 22 22 Becca's almost going to be 23 yes. she's got a bit more experience <laughs> bigger 20 year old than me how many months is it it's like two and a bit months. yeah <laughs> those two months make a difference <laughs> so any top tips for, for your 20s yeah I just think like really think about what you want to do so if you want to travel you know how can you get mm-hmm. to there if you want to go to uni how can you get there but I think more so like why you want to do it like do you want to do it because everyone else wants to do it or do you want to do it because like you want to do it absolutely so it's like for example moving to london i only wanted to move to london really because like all my uni friends are moving to london so i was like oh like should i shouldn't i but then i was like you know what like it's such a fun place to be Mm -hmm. in your 20s like why not just go for it i mean the job was there and it was like because i could basically with my job i got the job offer in Nottingham um, and then asked for it to be changed to London. Um, so I had to have like another interview for London. And I could have, um, I think in the end they said like they'll try and make sure that I get both. But basically if you say no to Nottingham, you forgo that mm-hmm. job opportunity. So you'd have to like apply for another job. So it's a bit of a risk, but I thought, it paid off. Why not? Yeah, and I'm really happy here. And I think it's a great time to like, you know, try new things. Like in your thirties, forties, like I probably wouldn't have moved to London yeah. if I was living in Nottingham. Yeah, good so point. why not? But I definitely think make sure it's what you want and not what other people are telling you to yeah, do. Yeah, so true. Yeah. I'd say my top tip for your twenties, kind of similar to that, is like stop comparing yourself to others. Yes. Yeah. It is kind of similar advice oh to my yours. Gosh, yeah. I feel like in school we're always compared to each other like yeah non-stop. and it also makes sense in school that you're doing the same thing like yeah. everyone's doing their GCSEs then everyone's doing their A-levels yeah. but like you said people have different preferences yeah it's not a sprint what's the right what's the thing <sighs> it's not a marathon it's not a no sprint. it's a sprint it's a marathon or something like that I know what you yeah. mean I know what you're trying to say Let's I can't remember what it is that bit. <laughs> Basically, let's just um <laughs> let's we'll, we'll just, like, maybe we'll put the actual quote on screen and then make us <laughs> no we're not know, showing but... any of this <laughs> oh just you wait no yeah becca's the one that edits don't you dare <laughs> basically what i'm trying to say is mm-hmm. you might have an end goal yeah but don't worry if your timing isn't the same as other yes, people definitely don't compare to other people mm-hmm. live your life and also 20s is definitely time to like go crazy Try because new things. Yeah. probably lockdown settled down a bit more in your 30s so yeah. if you want to something different do it yeah definitely so like trying to live in a new place even if you just live there for like yeah. a year or like you move out for a little bit or you go traveling to somewhere you thought you'd never go to yeah like, I we do really think... want to travel we do we? and we're still going to yeah. i'm determined oh my gosh absolutely once we qualify like, yeah. i'm taking a sabbatical <laughs> yeah i mean like a lot of people do career breaks yeah so you know we're definitely even if it's just like a month yeah to go somewhere like in summer traveling, use all the holiday for like, traveling's yeah. important in your 20s yeah, as you sure. said definitely do some time in london if you can in your 20s yes. or just any like big city because we're from nottingham yeah but we live in like um like a village rather than like in the center we're not central nottingham. at all we're not central right. girls so like it's really fun and different to like live in a city now mm-hmm. compared to like living in the suburbs i yeah. guess of like a place so yeah Okay, so last thing on this one. So last <laughs> night we watched uh, 14 Peaks. I can't remember the name. Is it? Oh, nothing, nothing is, is impossible. impossible. That's it, yeah. Um, and it was so good. It's so inspiring. So it's on Netflix. Really recommend. But basically they just like climbed loads of mountains yeah. that were like really Some dangerous. Of the tallest ones yeah, in the as world. in like Everest K2 and then like all the others around the different areas. And they did it in like a really short space of time. Yeah. Broke like six world records or something. But you've got to go watch it. But we were saying maybe not climbing a mountain <laughs> no. but we'd like to do like you know three peaks or at least like scarfell or something just something like um 
nice and easy in the UK. That, that but we a bit, a bit challenge. We were watching but, it yeah. thinking, what could we do? We're, I mean, Sophie's a very like gym girl, but I'm not really like that into my sport at all in the slightest. So maybe just something. I think we could do Scarf or I something think we in could. the UK, like yeah. you said. For sure. So yeah, maybe in your 20s, yeah. have some fun challenges. Well, in summer, I think it's so much fun to like, just be outdoors. Yeah, and so just, true. Yeah, it really made you like want to do well, didn't yeah. it? So yeah, good film. Next one is why you chose Warwick and Birmingham. So if you didn't know already, I went to Warwick <laughs> Uni, so I went to Birmingham, Birmingham Uni. Uni. Um, so why we chose both. I chose Warwick. Well, we'd been around quite a few. Like we went to Birmingham together, together didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think in the end I chose Warwick. I like the facilities. Um, they had a scholarship that I th- thought I'd get and didn't get. Because <laughs> I got a scholarship at <laughs> Reading. got a scholarship somewhere else. A Reading. Yeah. I got a PwC scholarship there. Um, and then I thought I'd get the EY one at <laughs> Warwick and just didn't. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but that was like one of the main... <laughs> That was one of the main reasons. I got um, out at the first stage. I didn't even make it to the interviews. It's like a personality test to go out at. But now I'm working at another big force. So I've just got fine. a great personality. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's why I picked Warwick in the end. Yeah. Brilliant. What about you? Um, um, Birmingham. Um, I love the city. <laughs> I love the campus. Oh my it's gosh. Gorgeous. The accommodation. Oh yeah. Sorry. We that's like, why. The yeah. top. I won't lie. Really? I yeah. won't lie. Chamberlain in first year is the one. But like the top of Chamberlain. You know on the open days when they show you. We went to the top. They take like, the top of Chamberlain <laughs> Tower. And then Chamberlain to unfortunately there. has three blocks by the side of it. And I got stuck <laughs> in a block. By the side of the tower. But your room was gorgeous. My room it was, was the, gorgeous. The nicest uni room But I was quite. Seen. It made me laugh. I was quite disappointed when I got allocated block A. I actually called up. My flatmates hated me for this, so I did it. I called them up. I was like, any chance I could be in the tower? They were like, absolutely not. <laughs> like, no. You Take me to give it. Yeah. But yeah, the accommodation's amazing. Yeah. Campus is amazing. And the city of Birmingham was cool. It's so much fun. We used to go on nights out in Birmingham. And also, we were close. Not that that's the reason we went to those unis, but we yeah, liked we were that we were close. close. And yeah. close to home as well. It's only like an hour and a half by the train yeah I think I was saying this to my parents a few days ago Durham yeah. was one of my options yeah. and that's just such a track in comparison far. yeah as in like obviously the education's great in all of these unis yeah but like that's the specific reasons why we went the next question is how do you balance work and life mm-hmm. um for me my team are really good if we're not having a busy week they're good at making sure i log off on time mm-hmm. and they always ask like what are you up to tonight and i tend to just be going to an exercise class um, <laughs> surprise surprise, surprise. <laughs> that is pretty much what i do to balance work and life is i have something planned in the evening like an mm-hmm. exercise class and then at the weekend i tend to always have Sophie's the busiest person you've ever met, honestly. Every weekend, like I've had to book in for like January <laughs> months ago just to make sure I get to see her because she is a busy gal. But it's good, like <laughs> it's really important to see family and friends oh, and of course, travel yeah. to different cities and stuff in the UK to see people that you love. Yeah. So that's oh, what I'm saying. You love me. <laughs> Becca, I love you. <laughs> but I don't know if that's me balancing it. I guess just. I think it's more like the logging off on time. Yeah, like making like sure when you get busy, your weekend. When you're busy, yeah. fine. But when you're not busy, just like yeah. log off. Like work's not your whole life. Absolutely. Sort of yeah. How do you balance work and life? For me, to be honest with you, it's probably not the best <laughs> question right now because I've just come out of exams and. For me, I don't. <laughs> well, well, no, I do, but not during ex- exams. Yeah. Where like it was like uni again, is in like every single night. All I did was like eat, sleep, revise, like just nonstop. And I think everyone in my class was the same. Mm-hmm. I wasn't like alone in that. Um, because they were just so hard. Like at uni, I feel like you could get away with not doing that much. She's in exam season, yeah, but like. Throughout the year. Throughout the year, we didn't really do that much. Whereas these, it was like, as soon as you learn, you really have to, for the professional ones anyway, for the certificate ones, so sorry, I do the ACA, which is like an accounting qualification. For the first six, they're like fairly straightforward. And then for the next lot, like they're difficult. So I feel like I probably didn't really balance revising in life, but now I'm like now she's very ready. much, yeah, you know, <laughs> log off on time. I always get my weekends. I think I've only had to work like one or two weekends throughout yeah. this whole year. Um, but yeah, okay, so next we got, well, we got two tips for LNAT, um, like for passing the LNAT and tips for passing ACA exams. So LNAT. So the LNAT, I just had to quickly double check on Google, <laughs> is the Law National Aptitude Test. Mm-hmm. So I did this in sixth form mm-hmm. in year 13 when I was applying to certain unis because they require you to pass, well, to take and then pass the exam. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I had to do it for Durham and I can't remember if any of the universities Maybe required Bristol. it. 
Could be. I think yeah. actually for two of my five, I but I can't like, remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, so essentially, it's one of those ones you read a passage and then you have to say which statements most likely or which one. Yeah. Is, uh, they have really, a really similar one for Oxford as well. Yeah. Like, it's really, really it's similar. It's not yeah. fun. It's very difficult to revise for, which I know isn't helpful. Yeah. But I would just say practice as much as you can. I always think Speak it to is. people yeah, who have done practice. it before. And mm -hmm. also, I spoke to my A-level law teacher because mm -hmm. she's obviously had to get people through the exam before yeah. so she's got top tips definitely um it's difficult and i think the pass rate's low so you should be fine <laughs> all you have to do is pass like so yeah. just go in with a fresh I think mind it's one of those don't worry about getting 100 percent. if you get stuck oh, you on something you move impossible. on like yeah you you know just try your best yeah of. just practice that's all i can say really yeah. good luck and then for aca exams question bank like if you so we do it through Kaplan which is like a, a education services company um and they give you like a massive question bank of like all the past questions and like questions they've made up that are similar to past exams just go through that as many times as you can I mean they try and say get for it twice I don't think I've ever done it twice but at least once you know I think it really helps because the questions do come up again oh cool and especially in the first few they're like multiple choice so you know there's only like a select few answers and if you can like say no to two of the answers and no it's like the other two mm -hmm. then you know you're in a good spot 50 50 um but again with that the pass rate it well the grade you need to pass is only 55 so i think definitely you know don't worry about being a prize winner and getting like 100 percent get those 55s absolutely and then a final one we wanted to end up on was well we had it's like kind of two a combination. yeah so um there was goals for 2022 so for next year and then also best life advice. So just like, you know, what we're trying to do and some advice to give you. Um, my goals for 2022, number one is to move out. Mm -hmm. And number two is to do well in my first department as part of my training contract. Yay! So I'd say there are two. I don't want to go crazy. It on, on those or? So I'm hoping to move out of my family home in kind of February, March time. I've started looking at flats and houses in Nottingham, Yay! which is very so exciting. exciting. Um, but yeah, it's a long process, so it might take a bit longer than that. Yeah. Um, that's my main aim, I guess. And it's so cute. I read my diary from 2021. Yeah. No. That's this year. Year before. <laughs> 2020. Yeah. Yeah. And I put um one of the journal prompts was what would you do if you had no fear? And I one of my things was live alone. Well, and then it said at the bottom, now go and make one of those things happen. And this year, we make it I know. This I'm year, so for whatever excited. reason, I have no fear about living alone. Like, yeah. I'm really wanting to do it. So, well, especially if you're in the same area. Yeah, then I know like, Nottingham why well, not? so yeah, it makes exactly. sense. Yeah. That's my goal to live alone and move out the house. Yeah. And my other one is I'm starting my training contract with my law firm to become a solicitor. And I do eight months seats. Like big life changes, aren't I they? know. Wow. I do eight month seats. My yeah. first one's in February, so it'll be like Feb to October time. Yeah. Um, it's in the employment department, and I just hope it goes really well. I'm sure it will. Thanks. What are your goals for next year? Um, like to do something like a bit more with this YouTube channel. I don't know yeah, something like we to. want like. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But like our, our goal um, of like subscribers hopefully will hit soon that we were planning for like by next April to hit. I think we're going to hit soon. So maybe, I don't know, something more with this. Just I, I like having something on the side that's like interesting. Yeah. Um, pass all my exams. <laughs> oh hopefully. yeah, that would be good. So I think by like this time next year, I should be either completely done or done apart from two with mm -hmm. my exams. Um, but yeah, that's it. Travelling. Yeah, we need to travel more next year. I mean, we went to Greece. You've, I've seen our Greece vlog. We'll put it in the description as well. But um, we want to do some like proper traveling. So hopefully, COVID permitting, you know, we can. Yeah, because we went to Corfu we in twenty twenty, and then again in twenty twenty one, and we but were like, wow, we're I so think, creative. No, this year was just a relaxing holiday. It was though, just to get it? away yeah. into the sun. We just wanted something to look forward to, at, like end of summer, and yeah. But I'd like to go somewhere like a bit more exciting. Yeah, if same. we're allowed to next year. So and then think. what's our best life advice oh okay well my favorite quote is everything is relative nice. as in like you need to not compare yourself to other people so for example like other 
influencers or other people in your school and stuff you know like so many people have cho chosen like different pathways like we've got people in our school some of them are like playing rugby for England mm -hmm. um someone I went to primary school with just won a Brit award like it's just like crazy someone set things. up their own cafe oh my gosh yeah. yeah like there's so many different things that people are doing and they're all on their own path so like you know it's it's all relative just because you're not doing that doesn't mean that you're not there yeah. do you know what I mean and then also in terms of like if I failed one exam it might seem like the end of the world to me at the time mm -hmm. but in reality like it's it doesn't really matter in like 10 years time I'm really gonna think about it probably not yeah. like I think you just have to put everything into perspective mm -hmm. and it might feel like the end of the world at that time but like are you gonna care in a year you yeah, know are you absolutely. gonna care in 10 years and you just have to keep moving like, don't waste five minutes on it now if it won't matter in five years. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. There you go. My cousin sent it to me once when I was sad. <laughs> I was like, thanks, cousin. <laughs> um, I don't, I can't think of good life, life advice. advice. Well, what would you say to yourself 10 years ago or something now? Um, believe in yourself. There keep you go. going. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, it's quite a deep question. It I'm is, struggling. Yeah. I think just, you know, having self belief. Yeah. It's like a massive thing and thinking because if you think I can't do this, mm. you know, I can't move out, I can't finish this degree, I can't like you won't. Yeah. So I just think if you if you really want to do something, you know, take those steps. Actually, I've thought of one. Oh, go on. From then. all of that. Yeah. Basically, you, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. No, you are like your own best friend and yeah. you can't talk negatively to yourself. You've got to speak That's to yourself such a like you speak to someone else. Yeah. And it's kind of what you were saying when you asked me like, what would I say to my younger self? Yeah. As in keep going, you've got to, I know it's difficult sometimes, but you've got yeah. to speak positively to yourself and believe oh in gosh, yourself. Yeah. You're your own cheerleader. Like no one's gonna fight for you as much as you can. I so completely agree with that. It's like, if, for it. <laughs> if you like were giving advice to your best friend, yeah. what would you say to them? Like, would you be as harsh on them? Probably not. So exactly. love that. Hey, good life advice Back on to end on. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. We really hope you've enjoyed and hopefully you can join us for some new videos soon as well. I don't even know what we've got coming up now. I can't oh, we'll think. But, but we'll you see. know, maybe we'll keep you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a surprise. Thank you and have a lovely Christmas. Bye. Bye.